What's up, guys? This is the Vinyl Casket, home to lame taste. My name is Nick. You can check out the YouTube channel, The Vinyl Casket, all one word. Where you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Remember to tune in every week for our comic book reviews. We talk about wrestling, all sorts of cool stuff. The lamest stuff, home to lame taste. Um, if you don't know uh, and you haven't checked out, I have done anime reviews as well as manga reviews, and I've talked about Gundam. A decent amount on this channel not as much as i would like but a decent small amount um if you had known previously which most people don't i used to do a channel on youtube called building rants building rants was really cool um basically i did montage spe sped up videos of me cutting and assembling kits gunpla and then doing little voiceovers over them um Recently, I decided to pick up some stuff from a Gundam series that just came out that I'm really excited about. Um, I always have some Gunpla around. I have a new Gundam on the other side of the room. I love Zeta. Zeta's a good one. Uh, I do plan on getting all the Blu-rays uh, eventually and doing reviews. But for now, we're doing an unboxing of some Gunpla. Uh, this is from the, the HG, the high grade series for The Witch of Mercury. So Witch of Mercury recently came out. I believe this first season just ended or it's about to end. Um, I really like the box art on these. So we have the Gundam Ariel and the Gundam Farak. Uh, Farat? Far, far act? Far act. Uh, Far Act is a little bit bigger of a box than Ariel, just a little bit. Uh, they all feature frontal artwork, uh, design and characters, a little bit of a story on the top, uh, artwork on the sides, and a little bit of uh, posing and displays and options on this side. Um, we will start out with... Uh, let's start with Farak, and then we'll do Ariel. Even though Ariel is the main Gundam of the series, Farak is really cool. So, we undo the box, as we talked about before. Really cool artwork. I really like the white and blue border. I like the, the how the, where, how they display the high-grade symbol. I like the packaging a lot. Um, quickly off the top, very minimal stickers. Um, I like how small that these manuals are. Uh, the HGUC, Universal Century, the main Gundam storyline, uh, they're always really big man manuals. I haven't gotten one in a while, but I'm assuming they stay the same. We have a standard uh, beam saber beam in green. I have never gotten one in green, I believe. Um, we have a really cool multicast here. On this, so we got red, yellow, a light gray, and clear pieces. Um, then we got two in this medium gray. This is D and E. These two runners. So this is mostly I see hand pieces, some uh, you know structure for the Gundam. This looks like we have some armor pieces and stuff, some gears. Um, then we have the rest of the kit is in this dark, like almost gunmetal, navy blue. Uh, that's C, B2, and this is B1, and B1. So, B1, we got the sniper rifle, some armor components. Um, B2 is more skirt pieces. Uh, and then C, we got some leg armor and joints. So, very, very simple kit, it looks like. I don't know how the, the assembly is going to go. I have not really looked in the manual yet. But I do tend to check out, for you guys to check out my Twitch, where I believe that I'm going to do this as a live stream build. I believe that both of these kits will be something I will be doing as I do want to get back to making Twitch live streams more frequent on this channel. Uh, I used to be very good at it, very consistent, have not been for a while, and want to step it up. Don't always have time to play games, so sitting down, watching a show in the background, and building some of this for you guys might be my thing for a little bit. 
Um, now moving on to the aerial. Very excited about this. I love main Gundam kits, especially ones that keep the standard uh, RX-78 color scheme. So we start off with some stuff that are loose on top. On top of the manual, we have some beam effect parts. We have this blaster beam and these beam sabers. These are not the normal beam saber, I don't think. They're shorter. They're a shorter beam saber. Uh, this is E. It's in this translucent blue um, as well as I'm believing this is the eyepiece. This is D in a nice green, not translucent. Uh, sticker sheet, decent amount of stickers, a lot of foil. Um, then we have, I think this is an option set for the chest piece. I don't think you need to put this. I think there is another clear piece for the chest, but I believe this is the accurate version with the designs uh, lasered in or under. So I don't want to take this out of the bag yet because I do not want to lose that because it's very small. Uh, we have a manual, as I as I said, both manuals have the first couple pages being color, then the rest black and white. Very cool. Um, so then we go into our multicolor runner. This is A. Awesome. Blue, yellow, uh, red, and clear. Uh, we have a little bit of everything. Looks like we got chest pieces. We got inner armor. We got clear stuff going in the chest. We got back fins. All sorts of components here. Just multicolored stuff happening on Runner A. Uh, following that up, we have Runner... Where is this? C in a dark gray. Uh, we got blaster parts. We got fins. We got internal gears and motion stuff. And the rest of the kit is in that traditional Gundam light gray. That, like, creamy white. So we got... What is this B2 and B1? So B1 looks like lots of armor, leg joints, leg armor. Uh, and then we have B2 with uh, fins, head components, all sorts of armor like that. And that's really the kit, which is really cool to see. These kits seem simple. They're not that many runners. Um, I've built a bunch of Gundam UC stuff. I've built two real grade, uh, the, the new Gundam and the Destiny Gundam. Uh, I've built outside of UC, I've built a Build Fighters. I've tried, Build Fighters try, and I've built a, uh, what's the other one? Oh, um, a, um, they're smaller in scale. I don't know why. I think that has to do with the storyline of why they're smaller in scale. But I built a um, Crossbones Gundam um, a while ago. That was really cool. One of my favorite things. I love Zaku, Zaku builds. I think those are always like a lot of fun. Um, and I built a lot. I built uh, Easy 8. I have an Easy 8. I have... They're all upstairs right now. I have an Easy 8. I have a De Blue Destiny Unit 3. Um, yeah, one I would love to do. I would love to do ground type. I think the shop, the comic shop I go to has a ground type I want to pick up eventually. Um, but yeah, so right now we have these beauties right here. These HG Gunpla sets from the latest anime. Uh... The Witcher Mercury, Ariel, and F Far Act. Uh, these are Gundams, which is really cool to see. Uh, not every mobile suit in the series is a Gundam. So it's see cool to see two completely polar opposite Gundams. I love a series of multiple Gundams. I'm a big fan of Seed. I'm a big fan of G Gundam. Uh, stuff like that. Wing, where there was multiple teams of Gundam and stuff. Uh, but I'm always going to be a big fan of UC. So check out the channel. Check out my review for uh, Gundam Hathaway. It's still up there. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. There will be more anime reviews for Gundam. And there's going to be these Twitch live streams, which will get uploaded on here. Uh, thank you guys. And remember to do me a massive favor. Check out the channel. The Vinyl Casket, all one word, where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for more, and remember to stay lame.